we will try to understand databricks architecture how the databricks have given their architecture it's a very simple so databricks generally divides this architecture in two sections one is that control plane second is the data plane so data plane something let's say for example you are taking a machine from the microsoft or you are taking a machine from the amazon ec2 if you are taking those machines from them so those because code is going to run on those, those machines so those machines will come under the data plane same way you are going to store some values maybe in the blob microsoft blob or maybe s3 amazon s3 if you are using those kind of storage for third party so those are your data plane control plane something data bricks where you are writing your code right let's say for example you have web ui if you go this diagram right let's say for example this kind of ui this is your data bricks ui you are talking about or maybe you have the notebooks let's say for example i go here in the workspace let's say i open this notebook right so this is your notebooks customer notebooks you got it right so this is your notebook we are writing here customer notebooks jobs and queries which we are running on the notebooks and we are orchestrating cluster management we want to do how many machines we want to we want to spin what will be the size of those machines all these part of the control plane that's where it's a databricks cloud account same cloud service as customer so this is your control plane another is your data plane customer cloud are hosted on aws or azure this is your control plane so generally if you see control plane machines we are talking about or maybe a storage if you see the storage all the dbfs all these storage where we are storing the data under underlying data so a um, high level architecture divides in two part one is the control plane other is your data plane so this is your high level architecture that's where we talk about the control plane and data plane in detail here control plane includes the backend services that databricks manages in in its own aws account or azure uh, or account notebook command and many other workspace configuration are stored in the control plane and encrypted at rest data plane what is data plane the most databricks computation the compute resource are in your uh, account is what is called a classic data plane so this is your difference between control plane and data plane end to end architecture so basically they are talking about they have included more feature you can create your own vpc you can create private connectivity you can come up with your own uh, customer managed keys for the encryption so these kind of feature they are talking end to end architecture so this is very high level architecture end to end architecture of the databricks i hope you understand the difference between the control plane and data plane thank you for watching